hello welcome back hope you've uh, enjoyed what I've had to offer so far this is the fourth episode of Sean's never-ending adventure um, right now when I'd wrap up been uh, down in the bowels for a little while gathering resources <clears throat> now I'm clearing out a little spot for a sleep station of course if I find coal when I'm mining out a area or any kind of resource I've got to go uh, deplenish it of its substance, <laughs> substance, if you will. Uh, anytime I'm making a room like this, I start small, you know, look around, and then take it. It depends. Uh, if I'm going to replace it with cobblestone, I can go ahead and take more away. If I want to leave the pure stone or stone, I. Uh, leave as much as I can so I, I slowly dwindle more out. Um, I guess it's something I did. I, I come by naturally um, as being somewhat of an artist um, and learning sculpture, sculpt, sculpting. Um, it's always easier to um, take away than it is to add. And that is true with Minecraft as in unless you, do, unless you have self-touch, which I won't have for quite a while, um, you've got to smelt the cobblestone and then it's really not that cost costly as far as uh, coal goes but I mean if you can save some coal why not that's my theory um, now I'm making a floor making some wood floor probably make this uh, I'll probably elaborate on this once I uh, elaborate it meaning uh, I'll build it out a little bit more later once I get um, resources ready uh, making a door and preparing a door. I I do not have wool at the moment. I don't know if I realize this in game yet, but uh, I think I am right now. But I uh, I'm gonna go search for wool. So I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, outside exploring. I don't know if I do my little. No, I don't. And uh, oh, and here I uh, pushing C to get my waypoints up. Setting the waypoint, setting the color now. You can see my coordinates in the menu system. And now I'm off. And once again, that mini map, uh, mini map, man, that mini map is a really nice feature. Definitely um, only adds to what already makes Minecraft great, does not change anything. And I'm about to hit a landmine. Kaboom. Oh wow, it didn't break it. This one will. Or this one will. Or I will. Something will break my boat shortly. I decided to collect some of those. Um, I believe the first I don't know the first person I saw I wanna say Ant Venom, but I could be wrong. One of the first person I saw one of the first people I saw using it as a uh, garden or a what do you call it? I don't know. Farm. Uh, aid to uh, add on to the water so you can easily walk around and collect your wheat and whatnot. I thought that was a really cool idea. So I definitely have stolen it. <laughs> um, that is a shout out, I guess, in a way, to Ant Venom. I do watch his videos. I do enjoy his videos. I, I, I can't say I'm familiar with all of his work. He's got quite a bit of episodes. He's got his peaceful map, his um, quest for the golden apple, the mod spotlights and whatnot. Yeah. Um, the Enderman actually, no, it wasn't the Enderman. Uh, that creeper scared the crap out of me. Legitimately did uh, scare the crap out of me. And I get him back right there. I love the sheep with this texture pack. I love how, I love how, uh, how much of a contrast it is when they are clothed and declothed. Uh, obviously, the black sheep aren't as drastic of a change, but it's still, it's still cool. I definitely seem more skimpy, I don't know, or skimpy I don't know how to word that. But yeah, I'm getting some wool, and my first objective, of course, was to get wool for bed, bed but I do like to make paintings. Um, and this texture pack, by all means, gives incentive to, to make paintings. I don't think I do actually make paintings um, in these first four episodes. And this will be the last episode of this, uh, series. No, never-ending adventure. Bullshit. Um, 
I've said before, and I hate to read it once again, but uh, I had an hour and 17 minutes of footage. This should uh, take down the last 17 minutes pretty nicely. The last 16 minutes, not sure. Um, at this point, I'm collecting some uh, some leaves. Hope I was actually you know, hoping to get some apples. I can't remember their percentage rate. I'm going to say 13 or like 39. I don't, I don't know if those numbers are completely random or if one of those is correct. By all means, correct me. I would like the correction um, so I can gain that information. It's one thing I, uh, I've always been, you know, I, miss, I, I don't understand people that take corrections as an insult. It's like, if anything, now by all means, it, it is dependent on the delivery of who corrected the person. Um, but you can't take every correction as an insult. Um, respect and appreciate the new information you've been given. Sorry, I didn't mean to go all deep on this, but uh, yeah. I don't. I, I usually don't like taking out the trees that are in the water because without doing something special, I mean, not that special, you just got to clear a spot for a second and you can use some bone meal, but I, you can't just, you know, place a sapling in the grass and or in the grass. Man. Apparently I get this from my grandpa. My mom does it too. And I, we were talking earlier and she was doing stuff like this and I said, oh, don't worry, I've been trying to talk to myself and I do it just to talk to myself. And when I say that, I mean talking to you guys. Um, assuming you guys start watching my videos. Um, but yeah, back to what I was saying. And I break my boat. I don't know how many times I break my boat. These things are like little freaking water mines, seriously. It's like we could totally make a version of spleefing, like a, a similar idea of verses with mines, water mines. But yeah, you can't naturally just place a sapling in the water and it, it'll just pop right back up. So I usually like to keep the. Uh, can I am destroying these with my boat? Trying to get apples. That's what I was doing. But I, um. I usually don't like to destroy uh, or gather, re um, whatever, the trees that are, the swamp biome trees that are already in the water. I like those. I like to keep those there. I might actually successfully navigate through the uh, water mines. And those are, uh, those squid have uh, diverse textures as well. Pretty cool. I haven't, I haven't actually looked at all of them um, yet. I think I killed... A squid early on. I just wanted its ink sac. Um, another thing, I, I, I would like for them to make uh, calamari. I think that would be interesting. Another idea I had was, uh, you know, these are just ideas. Um, I know there are appropriate places to post them, um, but uh, one of my ideas was uh, perhaps an additional modification or enchantment for beds, as well as enchantments for maybe uh, and, um, oh, we were just looking at them. Uh, furnaces. Perhaps you can change your furnace to give you certain efficiency, like better we better yield, um, better efficiency of fuel, something. Um, and my idea for um, beds was to add feathers to the beds and maybe like add a feather down, and maybe that would give you some kind of bonus when you awaken from the bed, give you some kind of um, well rested. I play too many RPGs, obviously. Um, yeah, just just a cool idea. I thought it was cool. I have one slime that's good for one piston, I guess. One sticky piston. My goodness, I played, uh, and this is off subject of here. Right here, I'm using this bone now just to get some more. Uh, this garden will be relocated or expanded upon. Um, yeah, I will. I will have a series. Um, something to the effect of Hardcore Flatland. Um, if you've played Flatland, you might know what I'm talking about. Um, if you haven't, I definitely suggest checking it out. But you basically, you spawn on a flat la uh, Flatland. It's, I think you're on like the Y coordinate 5, and you have like three or four blocks of grass, and under that is bedrock. And what I like to use the game um, type 4 is basically adventuring village to village, because villages are actually pretty uh, frequent. The only thing is slimes are overabundant, 
Uh, they definitely are. It's like Night of the Living Slimes. But uh, it's pretty fun. The only resources you can get are actually from treasure chests from what I call the smelting room. Um, yeah, um, I'll, I'll have those up eventually. I'm trying to get I'm trying to get a good uh, variety of videos. Obviously, Minecraft and No More for Hell is all I have on there for now. Um, come the 7th, probably realistically the 10th, I'll have some uh, Darkness 2 co-op uh, videos. Um, and I work on some other videos as well. I know I keep trying to keep on subject, but there's only so much you can talk about this right here because obviously you know quite a bit of what's going on, I would assume. Um, right here, making chests, I do believe. I do not a shift click. Um, sometimes I just don't. Don't really know why. <clears throat> there was a time though uh, when one of the updates made it so that um, you'd shift click and it would automatically. I think it was uh, pickaxes. The, they didn't do that before, and they would. And I made like twenty pickaxes. I did not intend to. So I am a little weary here and there. But yeah, I mean, as you can see, I've got my bed, I've got my door. My little room is not quite done. Um, I'll finish it up and I'll be uh, ending this episode, but I'm going to keep on talking about whatever I can think of. Um, I mentioned it before. Um, my brother actually has this same mountain that he is modifying, you know, as you would on Minecraft on the multiplayer server. I will have those videos up as well. Um, I've had a few recorded, but they haven't really been cohesive. They've just been kind of random. So I'll try to get with him and try to, once we actually have some stuff uh, finished in our houses, try to get some um, comparisons between my house here on my single player and his house on the multiplayer server. So yeah. Um... And I, you know, mistakenly placed a damn glass block, and now it gets to be destroyed. Um, question, I obviously can check this myself, but, um, hoping, you know, to get some response from, hopefully some viewers, uh, does anybody know if Silk Touch is effective on glass? Will it pick glass up without breaking it? That would be, a an amazing, uh, functionality of that. Odd. I've had a little bit of issue uh, reaching out to where I, I think I usually can. I don't know if it's because my FOV is uh, different than usual or what. But, uh, yeah, uh, making some pressure plates. Can't, oh, making the pressure plates for the doors. Um, I usually try to keep things unified as, po as much as possible. Like, if it's an enchantment room, I try to make sure that... It, it's appropriate size for having the enchantment table and then the library around it, um, the bookcases. I was really frantically playing at the end of this because I'm like, man, I need to stop this recording. I looked down at the time, like, man, 117 minutes is just ridiculous. Because um, then I just have to edit through it, and it's a very different process doing it this way. It's much easier to have an episode and record it and stop it when you've intended to. Uh, commentary might be a little bit different. I'll have to fit it in a time frame, but that's probably better than this random, somewhat randomness. Make a few bookcases. These are just uh, simply for my bedside. Um, you can destroy bookcases successfully with keeping the books. Um, I think you do have to actually use a uh, axe, but... And did I lose my iron pickaxe? Or was it in a chest? I'll find out later. Um, then I dropped my sword because I'm using the wrong key. But, uh, yeah, you can collect. One second. You can collect the books from the bookcases when you destroy them. But the six wood you've used will be uh, depleted. It will, uh, you'll lose it. Um, and here I just place some chests. Uh, try to get a little bit of organization. And that's pretty much the end of this video. Um, I will let it, you know, finish up. It's going to probably a minute longer or so. 
Um, trying to think any updates. Um, I will. I apologize for that smacking of the the mic, dude. I don't see my iron pick. Oh, there it is. My iron axe is right there. Um. I probably will do a few live commentaries. They will be short. Um, if there's anything, any goals you guys would like me to get to, any items you'd like me to find, um, anything, uh, suggest them in the comments. Criticism, I won't criticism. I always say I prefer constructive criticism, but honestly, guys, any comments will do. Let's me know somebody's watching. Um, please read description. Always read the description of my videos for various reasons. You should always read the description in any YouTube video. Um, be respectful to one another if I have more than two people watching my videos. Uh, and if I do start having people watch my videos, I'll have to, I won't have to say that crap any longer. I know it probably sounds annoying after I've said it after every four episodes. And I am sorry if I reiterate quite a bit in these first four episodes, but hopefully, uh, I get a better flow of recording and posting and all that. It'll uh, work more efficiently for me and you. Um, I've got some brick. I'll make some. Uh, I think I go ahead and make it here. I don't really do anything with the bricks themselves, but if I get them, I guess. Oh, that's what I'm doing now. Organizing. It's amazing how uh, I'm probably 100% more organized than Minecraft in the entire world. And my gun, my dog Gonzo, he's restless. He's wanting to sit in my lap. Come here, I'm almost done. Eventually, you guys will uh, get to meet your dogs in some way. Come here. Gonzo is my 12 uh, pound chihuahua. He's a beast. His parents were apparently five and six pounds, and I apologize, my voice is somewhat soft. But here I go, I'm sleeping. So, I bid you guys farewell. I'll have to extend it a little bit because I ran out of video, but uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, these first four episodes. If you're watching this episode as a first episode, please go back to the first episode and watch all the As I said, I hope you enjoy and have a nice day.